Hi everybody and welcome to my video here on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a little bit sad uh, video, so I'm sorry for that. I'm not going to be like happy about talking about this, but I'm going to mention this because I feel the need to. And I feel I want to reach out to people that are thinking about this and this is a need to know basis. Um, first of all, I'm Norwegian. I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to the English language. I'm in my late 40s, soon to reach the age of 50. So um, if you, I'm going to make a joke out of my appearance or my looks, please stay away from my channel. This is not about looks. I'm going to talk about stereotypes. I'm going to talk about what uh, depression. I'm going to talk about... Um, what happened to three of my friends not really close friends but anyway I consider them as friends first thing you ought to know is that I come from a town that is uh, in Norway I'm not going to mention the place name anyway I'm sitting here in one of my room in my uh, house and I make this video and I'm going to talk about my three friends that I lost uh, because of suicide they all committed suicide I went to a place to actually get friends uh, in 2012 I think it was in 2003 I went there and I started hanging out with, on this place to get friends I also learned a lot about computers because they had a computer there so that's when I in 2002 I got my first computer uh, started, uh, I started going to this place in 2002 Two, I believe that was the year and in 2003 I got my first computer I believe so anyway I used this computer a lot and I took all this, out this article about crime because I'm interested in crime stories and that sort of things I copied, copied a lot of things and I talked to these people um, who was there and was social with them we started talking to and I got got to be friends with three of those people who was on this place and um, uh, Stian I'm not gonna mention his last name he, that's Norwegian Stian he um, was 36 years of age he died in 2012 he hanged himself and in uh, 2013 a friend of his um, also killed himself I know him by name but I'm not going to mention his name because his family is still alive. And um, the third person that committed suicide was a girl. Her name was Maria. She was very, very pretty. Very, very pretty girl. She was about 27 or something like that. And I'm on my, I'm on old fart. I'm in my four, uh, last years of being my 40. So I'm going to bring out this douchebag who created a lot of hatred on YouTube took a film crew and filmed allegedly filmed a uh, dead guy in a Japanese suicide forest not going to mention his asshole's name but if you don't have enough understanding what a human being is and you are still posting out hatred on YouTube and social media you're less than a, a person I'm not trying to make a moral speech I couldn't care if people wanted to subscribe on my channel or not because I'm not doing this for the money I'm doing this because I like uh, I like not necessarily talk ab about everything I'm watching my computer now I get into one of the buttons, bu bu buttons here on the display here but anyway, I'm starting to be kind of irritated about the media focus on being pretty, being a good student, being, having good scores, good grades, have a nice car, have a nice house, have a nice boat house, have a nice dog, have a nice woman at your side. Everything has to be nice and pretty. And everything seems to be pretty on the surface. But of course, I had a friend who worked in the gym. He tried to be perfect. And it went so far that he got depressed and he hanged himself. It sound like, no, it doesn't sound like I'm being honest right now. I try to be as honest as I can. I cannot say his last name. 
even though his family has his last uh, family member has passed away she died of a broken heart I guess and also know this other guy who um, took a uh, sleeping pills he took sleeping pills as far as I know uh, I don't know the details for it but he took sleeping pills and this happened a lot in Norway each year 600 people dies die as a result of suicides and I think it's very serious if we don't understand that we have to deal with the fact of course people die of disasters people die of illness but I think it's necessary to talk about internet trolls internet bullies believe me myself I haven't been uh, quite uh, nice to people on the internet myself and there are people that I hate people that I don't get along with um, but that is people that I feel are arrogant and rude and I fight back against that, those people doesn't mean I really hate them it's just the way I feel if people are arrogant and bully they shouldn't really be considered being us kind of good good reliable friends so um, I have my share of losses and I'm uh, in a situation now that I'm I'm also bisexual and I'm, I'm not proud of it you're gonna joke about it I know you're gonna joke about it because you sit in front of your computer you're gonna laugh about it that's, that's just the way the wor wor world works these days I was straight and I kinda outed myself here now because this is going on YouTube and everybody gonna watch fucking YouTube not everybody gonna watch my channel that's not my intention but I'm very scared about the future I'm scared about losing people that I love and care for and I feel the need that we have to talk about this because there's a lot of people like Donald Trump he's the president of the United States even though we don't have a president in Norway I can only see what he is doing in social media he is describing handicap he's mocking handicapped disabled pe people he just ah, 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 ah every time and that pisses me off that really pisses me off and you have all seen the video footage when he is actually doing his ah thing with his hand his gestures and that's not a president that's a bully so um, I'm absolutely irritated and frustrated about the stereotypes who thinks they are better if they go go around in the suits and their ties if they're better they're better than me they're, they're better than you and people are making a lot of profit earning a lot of money no, mr. know-it-all mrs. know-it-all gold diggers I also been a victim of um, hate crime on the internet I've been harassed by gays because of my uh, bisexuality I'm not proud of who I am I was straight I wish I was straight again and yeah this is just my thoughts of today this is kind of a not interesting thing I guess for you but I want to share if you have any depression if you have anything sad to talk about you could always write something in my profile here and talk about it if you don't like the video you can always put a thumb down it doesn't matter I don't make any subscribers I don't, don't make money out of my YouTube channel I just do this or I want to share my opinions on stuff and things that I'm interested in I love theater I love movies I love reading about history but I'm very concerned about my family my sister and my mother my father passed away a few years ago not a few years ago many years ago in fact but never had a good relationship with my dad so now you know that um yeah and I I miss my workplace 
I used to work in a uh, on the uh, on the diner, and um, there were a lot of people there were friendly to me. So I'm um, not that I'm unemployed, but I'm making just a statement that I miss miss those people. And there were people that I unfortunately passed away at the workplace that I'm living um, in this uh, town that I live in. And I'm not going to mention that person's name, but if you watch this video, you know who you are. And if you watch this video, you're going to hear from me that I really love that person. I respect that individual. And I still miss that person. So, um, I try to, if I seem sound, sad today, it's because it's a sad day for me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bring it up, but not to ruin your mood or anything, but I'm just bringing this up video. Up. So, take care guys, and be gentle and nice to each other, women and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and sorry for my being kind of yeah depressed depressed thank you for watching and uh, this is thinking too much on twitter